Good evening. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I just want to make sure it's it's rolling, but I know it takes a little while and there's always that delay, but I don't want to start my video with a walk. So hello everybody and welcome to our weekly Facebook Live. I am Marika and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I come on every Tuesday evening to make a card with you all. So tonight we are playing with the paper pumpkin from July, so the July paper pumpkin. It is called Summer Nights. Summer loving happens so fast. That's the song that comes to mind every time I just think about that. Or every time I see a promotion about summer nights. You gotta sing the song, right? Hi, Blessing. Okay, so let's get to uh, give away the card from last week. So when you comment, hi, Shantai. When you comment and you share the video, uh, you, your name goes into the draw to win the card that we make during the live. And I always draw it the next week. So that way you have the whole week. Even if you watch it on replay, don't be shy, share and comment, and then your name will be uh, available to win. Hi, Mia. Okay, so let's get to here and let's add my cute face to there and voila, here is moi. Okay, so this was the card we made last week with the gorgeous posies uh, kit. Hi Sue and Sue, guess what? I made the envelope. <laughs> oh, I felt bad all week. As soon as I pressed cut the video, I saw your message. The envelope. Oh no. So I made the envelope. I took some out to make sure that I make them tonight. <laughs> so the winner is Cynthia. So I know Cynthia might not be on tonight because I know she has another party and I am part of that party too. But I said, well, I'll just slide away for a little while, make my live and then uh, go back afterwards. It's a Facebook party. So nobody knows. Nobody will know if I'm not there. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Deb. Oh, Deb should be at the party too. <laughs> Deb is uh, multitasking. <laughs> I'm up then. Okay, so uh, here is the card and Cynthia is the winner. So I am very excited to be getting her this card. So that will be going out in the mail. I could just give it to her, but it's always nice to get something in the mail, right? And I always write a cute little message just to say thank you. So There, that is ready to be sent out, put on the to-do pile. <laughs> so let's get to tonight's card. No, I want to make sure that I'm straight here. It's a fairly easy card. You might, you just might say, Bello Marico, that's it. We came on for you and that's all you're giving us. Yeah, I'm sorry. But there's some heat embossing. <gasps> so that should be, hi Pat. So that should be exciting. Okay, big news also. <gasps> oh, I should have, I have it here. I know I have it here. Yes, I do. The catalog is available today. And so is the new online store. So if you notice, if you go shopping on the new Stampin' Up! website, they have did an update and it went live today on top of that new catalog that just went out. So now I'm allowed to show you the inside. Now let me know if you didn't get your copy yet. That way I know I can uh, get one to you. Hi, Bianca! And, um, yeah, so that was exciting. Everything is available to you all now, not just to us. Now we can share it with all of you. But if you do want to find out about all those new catalogs before everybody else, you could join the Pink Ladies and become one of my team members. We have so much fun. Okay, get to the card, Mariko. My God, you're all over the place tonight. So I have... Uh, this is the stamp set we are playing with. Can you see it? Yeah. So it has some very nice sentiments, actually. I was debating on this one. Oh, the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. So cute. I went with the You Light Up My Life. So I have it on my vlog already. Uh, you're invited. It's a party. When, where, RSVP. So it's a very cute stamp set to have around when you want to make some parties. Uh, and then those fireworks, that little uh, light bug, what's it called? And, hmm. Anyway, somebody will sell me. Hi, Rachel! Long time no talk! Uh, and then you also have that little light that goes on its um, bum. <laughs> 
and some jars and then some confetti and this this I think is like the tail to the shooting star but I also thought it was like the to make the fireworks so you have a firework here but you could also stamp multiple of that and make yourself your own fireworks firefly masisu <laughs> Okay, so that's the stamp set. We are going to need that uh, big firework. And then just that little one, that little sparkle. We, I have my piece of Bermuda Bay, which is cut at three by four and a quarter. So three by four and a quarter. Hi, Marcy. Jeez, there's a lot of you guys on tonight. I'm so excited. And then I have a piece of gold foil. That's just one eighth larger so it's three and one eighth by four and three eighths and then I cut out using the rectangle stitch stitch rectangles die so that way I get to use up more of my gold foil you don't want to waste that and hide it all behind so you want to keep it reuse it okay so my block and my tiny block to pick up my tiny sparkle now I'm going to put my card base aside. This one is a mint macaron. Mint macaron. So four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We're just going to put that aside. Oops. Bring in my Bermuda Bay ink. And we are going to stamp away. There we go. So just randomly stamp. Now I know I had my class last weekend, last week, actually, and the girls were asking for a make your own DSP technique class. So when I do this now, I think of them and I'm like, oh, I need to get something ready for my girls. Everybody wants to learn how to make their own DSP, but it's just so easy. So I have something in mind. How about, who would be interested in, oh, yay, who would be interested in uh, a mystery card evening? So, how that would work, I would get everything, um, I would tell you exactly what you need to join me the evening of. Oh, don't close your ink pad, Monica. We need it. Now, I'm just going to fill it, fill in my cardstock here with that little pop of oh dear well it won't be sure it's alive what do you mean the stamps don't stick to the block anymore the stamps don't stick to the block did I say that no no they do what did I say <gasps> Bianco, tell me. Ooh, okay. Yes, okay. Hi, Michelin. So, uh, a mystery card stamp class. Everybody would stay home. It's like a Facebook event. I'd be posting, like, directions how to assemble and how to make your own card without showing what the original card looks like. So everybody would have a different card, and then at the end of the evening, everybody would post their card. So we would all have like a different stamp set and a different um, cardstock, different DSP. Everything would be totally different for everybody. Oh, what do you do when? Okay, uh, is it is yeah, like you're stamping up your chamois? I'll show you. Mine is like dirty. Take your chamois. Now I'm gonna clean this one. Turn it aside. Turn it around where it should stick to the block and slide it on your shin. It will take... Oh, sorry, Bianca, you scared me there. I'm like, oh, did I say that stamps don't stick to the block? I'm like, Whoa. So just turn it on the uh, on the side that it should glue, stick to your block and wipe it on your shin. So it might just be because there's like lint from sticking to the table or... And then you should be good, should be sticking again. I know I have a few stamp sets that do that too. I'm like, oh, I need to clean those. 
So just rub it on your shin, on both sides, if you need to clean it or not, just, it'll do the trick, I'm pretty sure. Try it, let me know. Okay, so there's our little sparkle, well, there's no sparkle actually, but anyways. We're going to bring in our You Light Up My Life with my Versamark. I'm just going to use my embossing buddy because I have the old powder. But the new powder, I think, is not as staticky, so it doesn't stick to... Yep, that's it, Bianca. <laughs> I don't have kids that play with them, and they're still all used up because from using it so much, it just... La poussière, right? Dust everywhere just sticks. Okay, so now I was saying about that embossing buddy. That you shouldn't need it. If you have the new embossing powder, you won't really need it. Because I think it's not as staticky as this powder here. So I keep them keep mine in my little containers here. I'm just going to... Uh, you're going to see that it probably... I don't know if you can see there, but there's some sticking to the firework image. So I'm just going to bring in a brush and brush off the excess. Just going around. See. There we go. Now I'm going to go get my heat tool ready. Warm up my toes. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rachel. I'm so excited. Yours is in the works. It should be out soon. <laughs> I'm just going to heat up my tool under my counter because I don't want it to make you deaf. It's so loud. I know I'll get shorter. <laughs> So I'm going to bring it up now and heat it up. And you're going to see it come to life. It's going to light up your life. I want to make sure that it's in the light so you can see it shine up. <gasps> Ta-da! Yay! There we go. I'm done with that. See? Done. And then let's bring in our gold foil layer. And we're going to glue that right there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of stamp and seal. You don't need much because that frame is so thin. So I'm just going to go in the Corners. Oops. And the sides here. Now I line it up on the longer side so it's easier to try and keep my border even on all four sides. But take some concentration. Shh. Voila. Ta da. Now there's some glue there, but that's okay. We're going to dimensionalize it. So let's put some dimensionals. Now, spoiler alert, we're almost done. <gasps> no, we're not. We need to do the envelope. I remember. I was going to forget again. I'm telling you. People should tell me. Smetka, start with the envelope. So that way it'd be like a sneak peek to the card for you guys. So I am going to add a lot <laughs> because I just want to make sure that it doesn't flop in the mail. I don't feel as bad because I cut mine in half so I get to use just as many but cover as double up double up the space I put some sorry 
Boom. So now for next month, so this was the paper pumpkin stamp set. Um, next month is the greatest, I think that's just it, the greatest, I forgot. Now we're going to place it on our card base. And voila, that's it. That's our card. So I did one just before using the Just Jade card base instead of Knit Macaron. But I really like it. They're just uh, like even together, those two colors would be a nice color combination. Okay, so envelope. I had them out for right here. So let's get to. I think we're gonna. What I wanna do. I'm going to bring in my mint macaron and we're going to decorate the flap. Do I have this? So the same thing as we did for our Bermuda Bay. We're just going to do it with the color of the card base. Filling up the whole flap. Ooh, so, so cool. Oh, thank you guys. I'm happy you like it. It's simple, but like you guys said, the gold just makes it pop a little bit more. So that's why I didn't think it needed blend, uh, bling. There are some gold stars in that in the kit actually. I could have used some of my leftovers. But I just put it all away already. There. Oh, cool. I love it. There we go. So here's our envelope with our card. I was gonna say our envelope with our matching card, but technically it's the wait the other way around. Right? Our envelope matches our card. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. It was a short video, but just a little inspiration. Just use use up your DSB even. Just cut it up so it's three by four and a quarter. Then add a layering a layer border around it. Any color you have that matches your designer series paper. And then glue it to your um, card base. Actually, I need some little thank you cards. I might just go do that make a little bit more. Thanks, Nancy. So if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or share it. That's even better. And I will be on next week with another video. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye.